Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how you're going to create your group and make sure it's secure for your privacy and for your image and for your branding. So I'm going to do this, it's a one shot deal so you can do, see I can't keep making uh, pages and groups because every time I make it and I show the example I have to make another one. So here I have Logout City, <laughs> another page I had to make for one of my virtual worlds because they want to create a Facebook page um, to get people to um, get out of <laughs> virtual worlds and into the real world. So here we go. Instead of link group, okay, you should already have your page made. You do not want to link a group. You want to create a group. So you're going to click on that. It's going to be called Logout City Group. You can change that again. That's not anything you have to have set. And under add someone, I, I always unclick myself. And actually under here, the easiest way for this part is if you just have it public. And then it's easier that way because there's a big roundabout way you have to go to add people if you make it closed. So just set it to public just to save yourself the headache. Hit click create. And here's your brand new page. Again, under membership, there's you, the brand, no one else here. So now we want to add people, but we can't because we're not an actual person and we have no friends. And normally over here, you can add people if you have friends, but we have no friends. It's really sad. So we're going to go to my friend's account. She lets me use her account. And we're under, oh, let's get out of city. So that is called, um, <laughs> okay, so we're going to now look up log out city. So log out city. It's gonna bring up the page. Click on that, go to groups. You're gonna see the group. You're gonna click, I wanna join the group. Request is sent, you're in the group. So you click on there, I go to members. Okay, I had to um, then, if you wait, a, uh, it takes about maybe a minute. Uh, you wait about a minute and then you'll see the little pop-up in the group saying one person wants to join the group. So you're going to click on that and you'll see there's my friend's account. I'm going to approve her to join. She is now a member and right here you'll see she has the uh, announcement that she's now a member. Ta-da! So here we are, she is a member. So uh, you can always make an alt account and do this, but for the sake I have this account. And then I'm gonna go under here. There she is right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and make her an admin make admin. So here's me and here's Karen. I'm going to close that off, go to about. And you see there's the two of us. Now, it, if you look, here's me. I, I mean, not me, but here's me under her account. And I can't do anything to this uh, page account that now owns this group. I, I can message them. I can't do any of these actions. That is not available to me. But so now I'm going to add my account. So now here's me. And I click add member. Okay. And over here, I'll get the uh, notification that I've been asked to join. And under members, you'll see there is me, my main account. And under me, you know, it, this is the, the unique thing of when you do it this way. So even though I am in control of the page, I don't have to be an admin or moderator to control the group. So here's uh, Karen, here's the uh, main page for Loud City. Um, so anybody who runs the page can also control the group, but I can't do anything to Loud City. I can't do, well, I can do is remove Karen too, because I am Loud City, because I created this page. So here's me, I can move myself up to admin, moderator. If someone posts something, I can delete it. I have all the controls, oh, close that. I have all the controls of the main admin that created this page, but I'm not visible up here. So I can just be an average member hiding here, doing the work I do. So that is the unique part of that. It is a very beneficial tool that I have. So here's Karen and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove her. Actually, you know, I'll show you another thing that I can do though. So I can bump myself and make myself an admin and then I can bump myself down. That, that's, that's, a, that's something I can do. The great thing is though under here you can have, Karen can be bumped down to a moderator, but under the, when anybody sees this, they'll see 
a group together, they won't know who is an admin and who is a moderator. So no matter who you are, they're all equal. They're all admins and moderators. So the person can control the group here, here, anywhere, and then everybody can then do the work they have to do. And this is really great. It's a better way to uh, solution when you want to have that brand, when you have, want to have the image, when you want to be able to do the customer service. If you ever have to remove someone, block someone, you can take everybody out. So we'll take Karen down, remove from admin. Oh, I got to enter my password, but I'm not going to bother with that. So you can remove her. And then the only admin you'd have would be this person, but you can still do all the functions and controls under your main account. Okay, a quick thing before I forget. Um, I wanted to also remind you that another benefit to creating the page with, um, I'm sorry, creating the group with your page is, again, you can have the privacy of monitoring your group as just a member. You can always bump yourself up and down. You can remove people. They can't remove your main page account. Um, and then everybody is seen as admins. But if, say, you want to be able to add friends, you can simply go over here and switch over and function in the group as another member or as an admin if you move yourself up and then you can just simply simply switch right back to your page account very nice right there okay uh, so stay tuned the next one I actually will go over um, your uh, group photo and that'll be on the next one see you later bye <laughs>